So just before we leave camp today, we decided that uh, we'd check out a trail that's in behind our campsite. The Wolf Air Lake area is home to the world's oldest stand of red and white pine. And if you haven't already heard, it's under threat for mining activity. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about it, the Friends of Tomogamy have a really great documentary on their YouTube channel, all about the history of the area, why it deserves protection, and why it's not currently protected. If you look at it on a map, you'll notice that it's not included in the Chinaguchi Waterway Provincial Park. It's only classified as a forest reserve. So anyways, we're hiking through the woods, looking for some big trees. I'll let you know what we find. Kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Not even a trail. Trapper's box. Probably some pie, Martin. Almost there. It's getting a little mosquito-y. Found the trail. Guess this is a new road that they're building for mining stuff. Here's a big guy. Pretty big. That's what it all comes up to. Beautiful place. It's too bad they're cutting it all down. what the end of the trail looks like. Saw something from the water. Maybe ruins. <laughs> Rice, grapes, peas. Wow. We saw the people who were camped here last. Shame on them. That's how you track bears. And if you want proof of that, watch Chris and Julia's video, their latest video with the bear encounter. There was food in the fire pit when they got there. So they did some mining, I guess. It looks like on the map that we saw on one of the portages that they're planning on doing this behind every campsite. 
on the lake. So they clear all this land just to see what's underneath it. And in some cases, they clear cut it completely for no reason, just to see what's underneath it. They couldn't just leave a small, small part of the land be. Pyramids of Tomogamy. Uh -oh. Find one in every park we go in. It must be everywhere. It's the aliens. They're after us. Super old can, new can. Chain oil. I wonder what was in this book. Okay, now I gotta check the footage because that's a liability. It's like so funny to see stuff like back from the 80s, you know? Mm -hmm. How long people have been tripping here.
This guy's from the future. 2037. Good for you, Jacob. Tell us what it's like. YouTuber. in contrast to the last trip do you like not having a canoe on your head so you can look around yeah it's nice and i don't know what's going on but it feels like mid to end of august for bugs like i haven't considered pulling out the head net once haven't reached for the bug spray at all i mean they're around but you know what i mean they're manageable so it's nice where are we going Oh, well, there's a little peninsula up here. I think there's a campsite on it. Check that out. Keep to the left of the island. Another campsite there. And then we're heading up and towards the west, towards Chiniguchi. This is on Jeff's map of the campsite, but it's not on our campsite. Well, I see you're bringing rocks up there, but I'm guessing by those ferns, it hasn't been used in years. Mm. Seems a bit better. Good backup site if uh, Chimiguchi is fully taken. Just checking out the first campsite here on Chimiguchi. Occupying the fire pit. You can see his little head there. Left of the rock. Left of the rock.
It's still a bit breezy and uh, got the canoe up on its side to give us protection because we're having jambalaya, jambalaya. So it's all dehydrated from home. We are trying dehydrated chicken. Apparently it's very difficult to rehydrate chicken and have it not be weird. Um, and then we have our normal box jambalaya and we added uh, a pepper in there and a few extra spices to give it some extra oomph. We'll see what it turns out to be like. Oh, it smells good. Perfect consistency. It's exactly like jambalaya. How we make it fresh. So that's good. The chicken is a bit tough, as expected. Uh, doesn't seem like anybody can fix that problem. So. Maybe try a different meat next time. That's really hot. <laughs> what do we got here? Fuzzy peaches. A little bit of a guilty pleasure. Om nom 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 nom. Mmm. A
afternoon with a high 27, feeling like 35. Cloudy tonight, more rain and thunderstorms, low 18. Mix of sun and cloud tomorrow, high 24. Right now it's 18. Okay, so we're made the decision. We're gonna try to climb this uh, mountain or hill, depending on where you're from. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to find a spot that's of least resistance. On Ottertooth's map, there is like a rough area that says, this is might be the best way kind of thing. Um, so we're gonna try to find maybe a a path of some sort on the shoreline. Uh, it's not too far from our campsite, so we'll see. We'll paddle around, see what we can find, and then uh, start the uphill climb. That's our campsite right there. And straight across from it, around this bay, is a trail. So it's been flagged by somebody. You can kind of see it there. We're gonna head up the hill. Going up. Hmm. It's all rocks too. Gonna need an extremely cold swim after this. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we reach one of the lookouts. Lookout number two. I'm the king of the mountain. There we go. Severe thunderstorm watch is continued for Tenichkamang. Severe. 
And we're on the top of a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> we should go back down. Careful. <laughs> a little different. big. <laughs> the severe thunderstorms at the end of the day. Yeah, so it'll be coming down a little. Do you hear that? 6 degrees? It's a cold night. What are, our, <laughs> what are our bags ready to? 14? Yeah. Jeez. The lowest temperature overnight was supposed to be 11. Oh. Okay. I think you know it's going to be stormy when all the bugs retreat. There haven't been any flies or anything in the last 20 minutes. Here comes the rain. Doo -doo, doo -doo. So after a little cat nap under the tarp and a barely noticeable sprinkle of rain, the wind is all but gone now. And it's lovely outside. It's clouded over so it's no longer sweltering hot. And we've decided that we're going to, to go for a little paddle 
up into Telfer Bay and check out uh, the remains of an old alligator that are supposedly there. Well, there's your problem. That's why it doesn't work. If you don't know what an alligator is, it's a reptile. Okay, bad joke. Anyway, uh, this is an amphibious vehicle, which means it can travel over water, but it can also travel over land, which is kind of cool. So they had a giant winch, steam-powered winch, that could latch on, they would just drag out a cable, latch onto something, and then they would just drag it over land. Had skids so it could easily be moved around. Uh, and then it had water wheels, and that's how it moved around in the water. So they used it to rally up a bunch of logs after cutting them down and pull them places. I don't know where. To wherever log shoots and stuff were. <laughs> they did whatever they wanted with them. But yeah, they're kind of, uh, there's three of them in Algonquin, uh, one here, I'm sure there's more around, not sure where, uh, but it's pretty cool to see them there. They all look the same, they're probably all made by the same manufacturer, so yeah, it's neat to see. It's too bad it's halfway in the water like this, but yeah. It doesn't bite, if you if you're concerned about that. If you're interested in seeing what an alligator looks like, not in pieces, uh, check out Mark in the Park Season 2, Episode 1, up here. And uh, you can, we do a full look around and you can see what it looks like. Just sauce that hasn't come out. Or? It's got strings. But what would it be? <gasps> what? Just a little bit. <sighs> so it's not edible. It says do not eat on it. Yeah, it's silica. <laughs> silica packs. Not good for eating.
So we were gonna have shepherd's pie, and then uh, we have we put the little silica packs in with the dehydrated food to keep it dehydrated in case the bag breaks while it's en route while we're tripping. And uh, forgot to take those out, unfortunately. So I'm not sure silica is entirely edible. So we had to throw out the whole thing. Now we're having our emergency meal that we always bring along with us. And uh, what's it called? Indian rice pudding. Had it for a couple of years. It's uh, freeze dried, so it lasts a long time. And uh, cheesy mashed potatoes. Yeah, cheesy mashed potatoes. Because we didn't ruin that part of the <laughs> So I hope this is good. Because we're going to eat it. <laughs> 